welcome back. So what I've noticed here is that uh, there's image and then image has undefined there. So I don't even want to have the undefined uh, in there. So let's go back to products.php and let's go to edit, collect edit data. So there's a part where we are compulsory, it's compulsory adding the image here. So we must remove this last part so that we only add the image if it actually exists. Okay, so let's try that again to make sure we don't have that image file sending things back. So I'll refresh, click edit and click save. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now let's add an image and see if we get something different here. Let's add image one and image three. And let's try and send that. Ooh, what's happening? Let me look at the info we are getting. And we don't get the image. Now, the reason we don't get the image, of course, is because we are trying to show data from data here. So we are supposed to show the data from files like that. So let me come back here and let's try again. Let me hit save. And as you can see, we have in the one image and then we have image three that exists. Okay, so this is pretty good. We have what we need on this side of the page. Let me reduce this a little bit. The height of the edit thingy. So instead of 650, maybe 600. Let's see how that works out. Okay, I think that's more reasonable. Okay. So uh, pretty good here, so far so good. So now it's time to actually save the data. So as you can see on the save, on the product create, we had to make accommodations for the files part here. So we will do exactly the same. Even for edit product, we're going to make provision. Now here where we had put the ID and the product, we don't need to put these things separately we can just put the whole data thing there and then just put uh, the whole post array, not the post array, sorry, the files array there. Okay, so very good here. Everything else must remain the same and let us remove our die over there. And then let's go to the product edit, which is inside our product class. So we're going to go to models because that's where our classes are and click on product and it will be product. Uh, what was it again? Edit. So product class function edit. There we go. Pretty simple. So originally we had ID and description, but we don't have these guys anymore now. So what we will do is I will cut these guys from here. Instead, we will have data like so. Then I will put them here and equate them to data. This one will be a data description. And the other one, of course, will be uh, data ID. Oh, wait a minute here. Let me put a die over here for a second. I want to uh, I want to see the result once more. So let me send this data. Let's look at the console here. So I'm receiving an empty string and that is because I haven't echoed those things that I was supposed to echo. So let's do an echo again. We'll say show and let's go to uh, data like that. So let's do that again. 
okay and there we go so we don't actually have an id there and that is the thing i forgot so let's go back to products.php we need that id so let me come back here because we won't know what which product we are editing so let's go back to collect edit data that was my bad i don't know why i completely removed that so it has to be here data id so what will the id be equal to well if we inspect our element which is this one right here the one that brings up the edit part i will inspect that element and of course i am looking for the info which has an id of six at the very beginning so pretty good 